Hosea chapter 12, verse 13, it says, By a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet, he was preserved. So you see, when God wanted to bring the children out of Israel, out of Egypt, he used the prophet. And we know it's prophet Moses. And Moses came and brought them out of Egypt. Whenever you see an exodus about to happen, know for sure there is a prophet. There is a prophet in the midst of the exodus. I prophesy you are now about to come out. Just like our song, we are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. Shout and say, I am coming out of Egypt by a prophet of the Lord. By a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, he was preserved. People are preserved by a prophet. You must understand that the prophetic ministry, it brings preservation. It makes you to be protected. It brings protection. When you are about to be involved in an accident, the prophet is given a word so that you are preserved. So that you are protected. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not easy to lose your life in a prophetic house, in a funny way. Because a prophet has to... And some of the messages are spoke in advance. I speak again, you shall not die in an accident. You must be preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. So prophets are brought by God to release deliverance. In your life, whenever you see a prophet coming, no deliverance is come. Whenever you see a prophet in front of you, know also that protection is come. God cares for his people using prophets. The prophetic ministry, it edifies the church. It protects the church. It preserves the church. You are preserved in the spirit. You are protected in the spirit. You are guided in the spirit. You are actually put inside a wall that is a powerful stronghold of protection. And you have to understand it and you have to receive it. Don't come in a prophetic house and just sit and think you will come in and go out without a blessing, without a breakthrough in your life. Just sitting on that chair, you will receive a breakthrough. I said you will receive a miracle. I said you will receive a breakthrough. Somebody shout, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Say thank you, Holy Lord. Second Chronicles 2020. 20. It says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe also in his prophets, and you shall prosper. Whenever you believe in a prophetic word of a prophet that you know is a true prophet and is called by God, the Bible says you will prosper. So they don't only bring deliverance, they don't only bring protection, but they also bring prosperity. I say, a prophet brings deliverance, they bring preservation, they bring protection, they bring prosperity in the midst of the congregation. If you want to prosper, believe, the Bible is saying, believe his prophets. Which means there are many that are being used in a genuine way. It's not every prophet that is false. There are many prophets of the Lord that are being used by God. The Bible is saying believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. This is why many people are not prospering. Because they don't believe, they judge, they criticize. Now, when you come in this house and you are criticizing, it's a sign you are not accepting. Criticism is a sign you are not receiving that ministry. And I have always said that you can never benefit from an anointing that you don't respect. No anointing can work for you if you don't believe it. 
This anointing of a prophet cannot touch your life if you don't believe it. It will never work for you if you don't open your heart towards it. You have to be yielded. You have to be yielded towards that ministry. Amen. And you must receive it by faith. I have realized that anybody who just believes in, in the ministry, even upon my life, they receive serious breakthroughs. Amen. They receive serious testimonies. But the problem is some now have got familiarity. You are now familiar. Once you see, you are now actually able to gossip and to criticize a man of God in front of you whom you are seeing releasing deliverance on other people. I want you to know spiritually you are dying. In fact, you are dead. You are in a coffin. Because the Bible says when Aaron and Miriam gossiped and criticized the men of God, Prophet Moses. God called them in a tent and said, I want to have a meeting with you. And God said, are you not seeing the miracles that are being done in this men's ministry? Are you not seeing the things that his ministry is bringing? Why were you not afraid to speak against my servant? And they left the presence of God. Miriam left with leprosy. Israel had to be delayed. They had to wait for Miriam for some days. So that she's cleansed from that leprosy. But some people think it was only Miriam. I want you to know even Aaron later got punished by death. When you read further, you see God called even Aaron on a, on a mountain. And Moses was instructed by the Lord that remove the garment that he is wearing. I want to strike him dead. Because this man does not respect the ministry that is upon your life. So for some time, he was moving with this man of God. And he thought God had forgotten. But one day, he just met the wrath of God. So I want you to understand, if you are an Aaron, if you are like Miriam, and you are serving under a prophet, it's very important to honor that anointing, to respect it, because it will be carrying your breakthroughs. Some of you, you have got uncircumcised mouths. Your mouths have no fear. Your mouths are dangerous for your body. In fact, you are your own crucifier. Some of you, you are your own destroyer. Amen. You destroy yourself because of ignorance. Because you don't know what you are touching. Amen. You have to know what is behind that man. You have to check what is happening in that person's ministry. That must make you to receive that ministry. That must make you to zip your mouth. Do you know sometimes when I look at a man of God and I check the testimonies that are happening in that man of God's ministry, I zip my mouth. Amen. Because I am able to see that mm -mm, mm -mm, the Paita Mwara. Those are things that you must be able to see that there is God here. And you would do your soul a very big advantage by receiving rather than judging Amen. because you are judging your miracle when you judge a prophet in front of you you are judging your breakthrough you are actually destroying what god has brought for you Amen. shout and say holy spirit help me touch your head say holy spirit help me in the mighty name of jesus and i want you to know that prophets are designed to speak crazy things Sometimes we speak things that don't, that don't make sense to people's minds. But I want you to know that if you receive it, you receive it, you receive it, and receive it, and receive it. You get it, and you prosper, and you go higher and higher. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If I tell you that God is showing me that you are going to rise, you are going to be a great person, just become like a little child, just become crazy, receive it in a crazy way. Just receive things in a crazy manner. And God will bless you. Don't judge yourself. Don't do yourself a disfavor. By coming to sit in a prophetic house for nothing. 
When you come, don't waste your time. They believe. Here we are coming for breakthroughs. We are coming to receive dimensions of the Holy Spirit. We are coming to receive things of the Holy Ghost. And when you come to church, don't listen to what people are saying. Come for your own business and the spiritual business alone. We don't come here for things. We don't come here for people. We come here to receive our own miracles. Our own breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout yes. Please if I come to church. I want you to stop telling me your nonsense. Can I please make an announcement? When you see me coming to church, I'm not coming here to hear your criticism about that house. I'm not coming here to hear your funny nonsense stories about the man of God. What I want is my miracle. What I want is my breakthroughs. I am tired of poverty at home. Poverty that is back home there. I am tired of the bondages in my family. I have not come here to drive my car, to hear some funny issues, to hear some funny stories. I have come to hear the word of God. Don't let somebody waste your time when you come in the house of the Holy Ghost. Why waste your time? Why waste your fuel? Brethren, we are not coming to church for nothing here. Please don't be in these groups, church political groups. Run away from church politics in the mighty name of Jesus. Go for your own miracle in Jesus' name. The reason why many people are not receiving their breakthroughs in time is because they are spending most of their time lingering on nonsense, lingering on things that dance and benefit their own souls. Go for things that benefit you. Some people are bound by demons. Whether they are leaders or what, they are carrying certain demonic powers that doesn't want them to prosper. Because the devil knows when you speak bad about the church where you are, you cannot receive from that man. Because he's the source of the blessing. is the tunnel in which God uses to release blessings into that congregation. So you don't block that pipe with plastics of negative and criticism. You actually open it by speaking God. And you expand it and you create a big tunnel so that you begin to receive big things. Open the tunnel for your miracle. Create a gap so that you receive more. Amen. Brethren, this is how we want to receive our deliverance. I encourage you in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't waste your years in the house of God. Don't waste your years in the church. Don't sit on that chair for many years and not receive anything because you have joined a group that is in church politics. There are some people who are busy bodies, as Paul said to the Corinthians. Run away from busy bodies. People who don't know their ministry. People who are gossiping, not knowing they are evangelists. They are supposed to be preaching the word of God. Receive the men of God. I say receive the men of God. Can't you see the poverty that is in your house? Can't you see the diseases that are in your family? Can't you see that you don't have time? The devil is not joking. It's not a time to speak criticism. It's a time to actually protect. It's a time to promote. It's a time to lift. It's a time to receive. It's a time to go higher. I don't want anybody to waste my time. Time on earth is very short. Please, people of God, your days on earth are short. We don't have many days on earth to play such funny jokes. Some of you, can't you see you are growing? You are not becoming young, you are actually growing. Your skin is changing, which means you need to be more serious with the things of God. The more you are going up higher in age. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are not getting young. Very soon, you will be an old man. And your grandchildren shall ask you, what were you doing during the days of Jesus? Yeah. You were busy speaking negative. That's why you have these cases. Yeah. You have no one to take care of you in your old age. And they will be spitting on your face. Because you wasted your years. You wasted your time in the house of God. Please, people of God. 
I want you to receive. Whenever God releases a man, he is not joking. He has acknowledged you poverty. He has actually gotten contained about your situation. He has acknowledged and remembered you. 